Hi, this is Justin from Ajar Productions. In this set of videos, I'm going to show you all the features around responsive layouts and all the cool new stuff in N5 version 3.6. First, let's take a look at responsive layouts. The setup of the InDesign file is just to create alternate layouts using InDesign's built-in feature. Now, in the output, all I have to do is change the size of the browser and the layout changes. This is easy to access from the Easy Export Wizard. It'll automatically detect when you have those multiple layouts. You can have any number of layouts, two or more, and those will be detected. As long as you have the right license level, they will export. Now you can find this in the full export dialog under the export range. When you have a document with matching layouts that have different page sizes, you'll get this responsive layouts option. Now, you can also combine this responsiveness with the proportional scaling of desktop scaling. So now you can see that each layout fits completely to the size of the window, no matter which one it is. And you can do this for different types of layouts. So let me switch over to a flipbook layout, and you can see that the flipbook works differently as you expand it. So not only is that fitting in the window as well, but it changes to a one-page look or a two-page spread, depending on the size of the window, and it also changes the layout at the same time. In addition to being able to use any page format and make it responsive, and to be able to proportionally scale, you can also use the liquid layout rules in InDesign to do all types of scaling. So this piece is responsive. It only has two layouts, and N5 recognizes that they are landscape and portrait versions of each other, so they will just switch based on the orientation. They're also set up with liquid layout rules, so you can see those corner pieces stay in the corner, and the center piece stays in the center no matter what. It's not scaling everything proportionally, it's actually scaling to fit the window dynamically. So you can make a truly responsive experience with absolutely no coding in N5 version 3.6.